And hello. Right. Let's go, man. <laughs> okay, I'm wonderful. Thank you so much. A big, big, big congrats on Jupiter's legacy. It's exciting, intriguing, and highly, highly addicting. And I love this new breed of superheroes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys are so welcome. Let's begin with you, Mr. Nika. Let's talk about your character, Petra Small, a.k.a. The Flare 2. What got you attracted into playing her? What attracted me to this character, you know, I think originally from the audition and stuff, it was just the relationship between father and daughter, right? You know, I think Petra Small is not unlike myself. She is, uh, places very high standards for herself to be able to live up to that mantle. And she is a bit of an overachiever, which means that she can be quite difficult on herself as well too. So seeing a dynamic with a father who's able to not only understand and validate the concerns that she has while trying to do her best sort of thing, but also giving her the choice of what she um, can do with her path in life was very important to me. So, you know, it was, it was something that I didn't really have to think about it because I just understood her from the time mm -hmm. that, you know, I, I got the audition in and read the sides and everything like that. And I think that most people will identify with her as well too. Oh, I could identify with her. <laughs> I could identify with Petra. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Mike? Fit Small, a.k.a. The Flair. What attracted you to playing him? Uh, you know, with, with Jupiter's Legacy, it's, it's just the, uh, the family aspect. It's the family drama. It's the, the highs, the lows. That's what gets me with anything. Uh, but especially with this, I, I really, I could tell when I was reading this that I'm reading something special. Uh, then I went on to read the comic because I, I hadn't heard of it. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just that we get to examine uh, the dynamics of the family relationship. And we get to play superheroes. So that's, right? that's a big bonus, too. <laughs> the, <laughs> the sugar on the top. That's family right. Stuff with me every time. <laughs> and Tanika, at its heart, the service, compassion, mercy, just like the union's code, right? Why do you think we need a show like Jupiter's Legacy right now? I think we need a show like Jupiter's Legacy right now because, you know, as our world has been turned on its head sort of thing, I think, you know, some of those institutions that we have that we've trusted before have now kind of been blown apart. So having the optimism really looking at, you know, what does justice really look like? Also integrity and loyalty, you know? So I think that that's one of the things that it really behind its layers really has that and really examines really well. I know our relationship between each other, no matter what, Fitz and Petra are loyal to each other. We're one united Fred. It's not any difference or anything like that. And the fact that we're so loyal to the Samson family as well too, despite the beginnings that we started off, I think is something important for these times in this day and age sort of thing to show how things are together as opposed to being broken apart. That's yeah. right. You know what? As a, as a kid, as a, as a child at heart, I love seeing all the whole superhero thing, but also I love the whole, it's smart, right? And it has a lot of things to say about ageism, you know, yeah death and dying the whole shebang well thank you thank you so much again you guys a big 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 congrats again and good luck on everything okay thank you man have a good uh, one